$17 for one kilogram of bananas? I couldn't help but shriek, are you kidding me? The Australians in the produce section of the supermarket looked at me strangely. Perhaps my tangled hair, smeared makeup, and wrinkled clothes disturbed them. I had, after all, landed in Brisbane a mere two hours earlier. Perhaps I had spoken too loudly. I tend to do that when I'm exhausted. Or maybe it was my accent. The southern drawl was more pronounced that evening than it had been in years. I was tired, hungry, broke, and homesick. And I wanted a banana. After the natural disasters Queensland had experienced earlier in 2011, produce wasn't as readily available as it had been in previous years. The locals had gotten used to outrageously expensive produce, though I wasn't the only one who gasped every time I saw a dollars per kilo sign. But I was a newcomer. More than that, I was used to paying 39 cents for a pound of bananas. I finally got a banana about a month later at the West End markets. It was a day with such heavy rains that the vendors had to use boats to tow their produce back to the vans. Shoppers jumped from crate to crate, desperately hoping not to fall into the murky two feet deep water. Nobody was particularly happy about being there, but the vendors needed to sell all their produce. So they cut the prices, by a lot. I bought 13 bananas that day, and I ate them all in less than a week. Until that rainy Saturday, I had been grumpy about trying new fruits. Passion fruit, custard apples, chocolate pudding fruit, no joke. Star apples and nashy pears were too weird for my finicky palate, which longed for the two bananas I had casually tossed in the bin before I went through customs. <sighs> but after I had had my 13 bananas, I was ready to be adventurous. Every Saturday morning for the next three months, I walked into the markets and bought a little bit of everything. It was marvelous. At the markets, I could support local farmers, make friends with people I wouldn't otherwise have met, learn about how to cut a certain fruit and what part of it to eat, a skill more important than I had realized, and find produce I couldn't dream of buying back home. The markets weren't just a place to buy cheap food. They became a fundamental part of my lifestyle. If bananas had cost $2 a kilo when I got to Brisbane, I wouldn't have gone to the markets. I probably never would have tried passion fruit or nashy pears, and I definitely wouldn't have tried custard apples or chocolate pudding fruit. But I'm glad I did. Even if the chocolate pudding fruit looked sketchy and had a funky texture, I'm glad I tried it. Because it's Australian. And contrary to what I might have thought, I didn't go to Brisbane just to study. I went to learn what it means to be Australian. I learned. Every Saturday morning at the West End Market.